The one thing San Francisco has mastered in finding is where non-conventional player can be successful. I mean their wide receiver plays running back and their quarterback was passed on by every other team. And well so far this offseason and into the second day of the training camp, it looks like San Francisco has done just that with Jacob Cowling. With Ricky Pearsall and Brandon Ayuk both out, Cowling has received more opportunities to make an impression on Kyle Shanahan. And what's immediately impressed is his ability to transfer his 4-3-8 speed onto the field. Today on his simple drag for instance, he exploded by the entire defense for a massive gain. And while Cowling has showed off a nice short game in this training camp, he might have a more immediate impact as a deep threat wide receiver. Once he gets behind your safeties for instance, there's no catching him. And with Pearsall out, he's an interesting option in the slot. And while smaller, he seems like a guy who just knows how to play football. So while I wouldn't be surprised to see him make an impact as a rotational rookie, an area in which he needs to improve if he wants to see the field more often is fielding kicks. Over the first couple days, he's muffed a few. Outside of Cowing, several of San Francisco's other wide receivers have stood out. Danny Gray, for instance, who many have started to write off, myself included, really has started to show out. Which with his career on the line makes sense. Gray is one of San Francisco's faster wide receivers running his 40 yard dash in 4-3-3. But early in his career, he struggled to develop into an NFL caliber wide receiver, especially in his routes. This training camp though, Gray is one of San Francisco's favorite targets. He's caught numerous passes from Purdy and Dobbs. Today, for instance, rather than just his traditional go route, he caught a deep pass from Purdy over the middle. Outside of Gray, Trent Taylor with his second stint in San Francisco continues to look dynamic as a receiver and return man. And so far returning kicks, out of Bell and Cowing, he looks the most natural. And today he had the best catch of the day arguably, with the diving grab in traffic over the middle. And the players you expected to dominate did. Debo for instance led all wide receivers in receptions, and while he's not the deep threat option Brandon Ayuk is, he does dominate in the intermediate to short routes. Jennings in comparison, who just got paid, continues to play with his air on fire. His short area quickness continues to be his bread and butter, and he catches everything coming his direction. And with Pearsall out, don't expect that to change. Ultimately though, these are just my thoughts about San Francisco's receivers after day 2 of their training camp, and I'd like to hear your thoughts down below. It would also mean a ton if you could like and subscribe, and as always, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day.